Hello, good afternoon. This is David Stoner talking to you. And today I want to share with you a very, very simple scalping strategy used with my Excalibur trend indicator, okay? And with this scalping strategy, we're going to use both a five minute chart and a one minute chart. We're going to use a five minute chart for entry, for a point of entry, and a one minute chart for a point of exit, okay? Now, what I like to do is add a, a 14 period moving average. All you have to do is simply go up here to the indicator list and choose moving average and just select the default moving average. Okay, you can if you want, you can increase the font the, the size of the line a little bit so you can see it better. But basically that's all I do. Okay. And in this particular case, I got it set to the color blue. So um so you can see it a little bit. But what I like to do is when I get an arrow on a five minute chart. I know that it's probably going to repaint, okay? So I'm going to wait about 10 15 minutes and come back and look at it. All right? If I don't see it repainting, then I'm going to wait for the price to break the 14 period moving average. So if I zoom in a little bit here, all right? So for example, the price the this arrow came in here. I don't know if it came in, a, in at another um, arrow it could have came in here and then repainted it here it's hard to tell I, I cannot look back in the past and tell for sure but what, what I do know is that the final resting place was right here and I waited till the price broke down uh, below this 14 period moving average probably wait to the second candle and then place a trade okay and then if you come over here I'm gonna draw a vertical line just so I have a point of reference okay on this candle right here and if you go to the one minute chart, we're going to look for an opposite uh, blue arrow, okay, for a, for a point of closure, okay, and which is right here. Now it could have came in here and then retraced all the way down to here, but just you know, looking at back in retrospect, we're going to I'm going to draw another um, line here and switch back to the five minute chart, and we can see that that was in fact both a uh, very strong level of support and resistance okay now you could use just a five minute chart but I like to uh, use one minute chart because quite often there is um, the price will go you will have a lot of highs and lows you know in the in the meantime waiting for the next indicator on the five minute chart waiting for the next signal so I try to close it when it gets to a low point instead of retracing back up again okay now this right here was obviously a, a, a pretty strong downtrend but there are times when you will get uh, it'll come down and retrace right back up to the same point it was before for example like right now okay it had an up arrow and came up and came right back down to the same point now it's going back up again and I'm assuming it's going to continue up okay and if I draw another horizontal line or vertical line uh, let's say right at this point here okay the price came up to here and then retraced back down if I look at the one minute chart we do see there is a red arrow right here so this would have been an ideal time to close the trade okay at this point right here move that over a little bit so between here and there all right you would have I don't know how many pips that is it's not a lot it says 112 so if I can get 100 pips even 50 pips uh, per trade that's fine okay this is a scalping strategy you're not designed typically with scalping strategy scalping strategy you're only looking to gain about 10 pips of profit all right and then close the trade but with this strategy I can average on average about fit anywhere between 50 and 100 pips per trade okay 150 points I'm looking for at least 50 pips or points but you know if I get more that's great all right if not 50 is fine for me all right now if you wait for this price to come up here above this moving average then you probably are looking at 50 yeah exactly so that, that's perfect strategy okay and then once you once you close the trade here okay then we switch back to the five minute chart and wait for the next blue arrow okay now in this case you could place a trade right now because it came back down to the same level of uh, 
support all right and it's bouncing off of that again so technically I could place a trade right now and it's already got an arrow here and I could wait for the next red arrow okay <clears throat> but you know if you follow it by the book you would wait until another red another blue arrow forms okay and more likely than not it probably will not form a blue arrow I'm just guessing because a lot of times you'll see the price come down come back up again but it'll never form another uh, arrow of the same color and it'll keep going in the trend <clears throat> now hopefully this will continue up you know for a good ways and you get a few hundred pips who knows but anyhow that is my strategy in a nutshell it's very very simple okay very very simple to execute you know start with a five minute chart place a trade switch to the one minute chart and wait for the opposite arrow to close okay that way you get in and out pretty quickly okay you're only looking at about maybe 30 minutes tops okay for the closure okay and if you do this let's say you get 50 pips per trade okay you do this 10 times a day that's 500 pips or 500 points every single day all right now the drawback to this this is a very very effective strategy the drawback to this is uh, you need to be on your computer constantly now if you trade on your cell phone that's perfectly fine you're gonna need to use a remote desktop app um, you can definitely uh, trade on your cell phone using just push push notifications but um, you would have to have up uh, two different charts a five minute chart and a one minute chart set up to receive push notifications per currency pair okay just keep that in mind um, but like I said I would I would probably use a remote desktop app if I was trading from my phone or tablet like that at least this way I could watch it in real time and see exactly what's going on and you know kind of judge where I want to open and close a trade okay now if all you're using is a 14 period moving average and you get a push notification to buy then you can simply go to your meta your mobile MetaTrader app and look at the 14 period moving average wait for it to cross and you know you got a, a buy okay and then wait for the next push notification on the one minute chart okay to form and then close the trade okay so that's you know very very simple now it's gonna take some practice you know don't just rush out there and throw money in the account and start trading give us a few days maybe a few even a few weeks practice this and practice and practice that way you get the feel for it but overall it's very very effective and it's very easy to implement and I've been doing this you know I, I can sit at a restaurant I can sit and go to a coffee shop and just sit and do this all day long okay I really like the strategy so anyhow let me know if you have any questions or comments about how to use this scalping strategy and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions just uh, I'll ask that you please contact me on Facebook there is a link below in the description of this video for my personal Facebook account uh, also there is a link for my private Facebook group and this you can post any questions or comments in my Facebook group and at least this way myself or other traders can uh, help answer your question as well and you can have a discussion there about this strategy okay so just uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll help you as much as I can and uh, thank you and have a wonderful day